Hi friends. First, let me say Happy New Year to you and yours. From my family to you, I wish you all the best for 2021. I hope it's a year full of great health, prosperity, all good things come your way, and 2021 is your best year ever. Also, I want to mention, this year marks the 30th anniversary of me as a Fraser Heights specialist. Can you believe it? 30 years selling real estate in Fraser Heights. I know what you're thinking. Hey, he looks so young. Okay, let's talk about the market. Last year, 2020, January, February, hey, market started out slow. Just a normal, balanced, average market in Fraser Heights. January, seven sales. February, nine sales, 10 sales. Looked like it was going to be a pretty normal year. March comes along. Suddenly the market takes off. COVID is here. Talk a lockdown. People cannot buy enough houses. 24 sales in March in Fraser Heights. And I'm sure if there had been more inventory, there would have been even more sales. You have to go back to June of 2017 to see more sales in the month. Isn't that crazy? So April, May, June comes along. Guess what? The market dies. Very little going on through those three months. People that uh, sold or bought before the lockdown, they were sitting. The rest of the people decided, hey, I'm staying to see what happens here. We're not going anywhere. So the people that did sell during that time, uh, unfortunately, didn't do as well on the prices as they would have uh, the month before or later in the year. In fact, if you look at May, uh, the average sale price compared to the list price was 94% of the asking price. So people that bought in May, hey, you probably got a pretty good deal compared to where we are now. By July, the market really started to turn around and pick up speed. July saw 25 homes sell in the neighborhood, which you'd have to go back a couple of years to see that kind of number. We eclipsed the March record of 24, so July 25 sales. Normal July in the neighborhood, nine or 10 sales. Uh, most of the activity in Fraser Heights historically is the spring market, March through June, big uh, sales months in the neighborhood. So this year, all turned around July. And that momentum continued on through August and September. We saw 35 homes sell, 34 homes sell August, September, and it just continued from there as a strong seller's market. You know, December ended with a sales to active listing ratio of 87%, which means almost nine out of 10 homes on the market in December in Fraser Heights found buyers. That is crazy. And we're looking forward to seeing what will happen this year. I expect the momentum to continue. You know, I just had a house sell where I had 35 groups uh, come look at the house here in the neighborhood uh, over the weekend. All by appointment. Don't worry. We all do it COVID safe, masks, gloves, uh, everything by appointment. 35 showings ended up with 13 offers. The home sold no subject offer, more than 100000 over the sale price. But what that tells me is how many buyers there are in the marketplace right now. Serious buyers ready to buy. You know, uh, a year ago, two years ago, you would, uh, you know, you'd see 20, 30 people, but it would be spread out over a matter of weeks or months or months waiting to sell. I tell you, there's so many people right now, they see something they like, they jump on it right away. So it's a great time to be a seller. If you're thinking of selling, reach out to me anytime. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan Ryder. Have a great day. Bye now.